Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem 7 playthrough. And I gotta say, guys, there's some times where you play it safe, and there's other times where you just gotta go for it. This is a time where I'm gonna go for it. Thank God. <laughs> I don't know, I just was thinking about it and like, you know what? I really want to get this kill with Wrath. So I went for it. That's all there really is to it. I got a bad level up out of it, but uh, I don't hate that I went for it. So let's start thinking about this. Uh, Dart has a little more speed than Hawkeye. Dart, I think, will double here at 10... No, he won't. No, not quite. Yeah, because he's going to be missing the same amount of speed. How much damage will he take, though? 8 damage versus 11. That's not really doing a whole lot of damage, though, because that's only 9. Dart, I think, is going to be fine. So, you know what? Let's uh, actually go back to this. Yeah, this should be good. He, like, he can't critical, so... I think I'm okay. If I miss, that's not gonna help, but... Do what you can. Could always level up, too, and I can always use Wrath to back up as well, so... I have other options. And I'm kind of interested. We have Silver Bow and we have Silver Bow. Both have Silver Bow. Both will do the same amount of damage. Uh, 23. Oswin will double attack all of them. <laughs> and I don't think he'll take too much damage either. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I think he's going to be more than fine. He'll be finer than fine. The finest of fine, you could say. Uh, Priscilla, I think I'm going to put you back here so you can start healing these guys when they start coming around. We are pretty much done with this side, though, so we can start moving guys around again. Kent's also in good shape again, which is also great. Um, what do you have? You have Elfire. That's not too dangerous. Hell, you could probably just finish it off, but let's play it safe. Plus Raven, so technically a little further behind. Wee! Wow! You not only double attacked the frickin' sniper, but you killed him. Oswin, you completely wrecked him. And got a pretty decent night level up as a result. You know, it's... Okay, for a minute I thought he was going to double and kill this guy, too, but... Not quite. I guess that guy... How did that guy... Did that guy have more speed or something? That seemed like an oddity that I don't quite understand. Because I think those guys had the same stats. Maybe they didn't. Huh. Well, guys, uh, Oswin can promote now. He could have a long time ago, but I'm definitely going to promote him now. Because, uh, why the hell not? So, let's see our first promotion of this playthrough. Ladies and gentlemen, Oswin is a general. Generals are, as you probably expect, very defensive units. Get a nice three resistance from that promotion. And in addition to uh, just, you know, the stat gains that it, uh, he gets, he also gets the ability to use axes. So we can use axes now with Oswin. I'm, I'm kind of glad he's the first one promoted. He was definitely a cornerstone for our, our early party, so I'm definitely glad to see some work on him now. 
Uh, let's see if we can get this kill with Wrath. We can. We, we Surely he can get this. Thank you, Wrath. Thank you for not screwing it up. My god. Okay, so you're going to grab that. Uh, I'll go ahead and move everyone else around. We're pretty much almost done at this point. I'm going to go ahead and go back and heal you for obvious reasons. Let's see if we can get this kill with Will. This is probably... Oh, I can't get this kill with Will. I mean, it's not too dangerous. I just should not be initiating it. Initiating it would be a bad idea. So I'm going to just leave you here. And we'll go from there. Open this chest. We get a Berserk Staff. A rarely found item. And it can be funny to use in certain places, but... uh. Not a not a super great item. And this is gonna be our last major unit aside from that uh, archer we're currently working on, or that sniper rather. It's gonna take a lot of damage from that, but not enough to kill him. That'll put Raven not quite at level 17 or 18, but pretty close. And Will will be pretty close to level 18, may even get to level 18. Kent's still a couple levels behind. I'm gonna go for it here too, because, I mean, come on, it's 98%. If Will misses... Honestly, if Will misses this, he deserves to stay dead. <laughs> I was getting worried. <laughs> I was getting really worried after I said that. Uh, that puts him up to level 18. So yeah, a lot of our units are two levels away. Pretty decent level for Will, too. So I'll take that. Um, you could definitely use some healing. Ooh, man. It's so awesome to have our first promotion. And honestly, Oswin, at this point in the game, this is a good first unit to promote. Because with the chapter we're going for next, uh, it's good to have someone with high defenses, especially of the Lance variety. So I am not going to complain about that. Uh, so yeah, we're down to one unit. So, there's like a multitude of things I want to talk about. I'll focus... I'll focus on what's going on in this chapter first, so I'll, I'll address this first. Uh, so we have Kashuna, and there's actually two ways you can do this. No matter what happens, Kashuna's going to run away in an instant. He's going to run away if you open this door, or he's going to run away if you hit him from a distance. If you hit him from a distance, I believe four magic units will appear here. And you have to take them out. If you open the door, four physical units are going to appear, and then you have to take them out. Once you take them out, uh, the chapter is pretty much over. They're actually just, like, non-promoted units. So they're not too bad, but they have very good weapons. And if you kill them, you'll get those weapons. So that, that's essentially the reward you get for doing this chapter, so to speak. So that's basically what all that's about. I think I'm going to go for the physical units, because I kind of have more physical units with me. So I think that would make more sense. But honestly, you could go for either way and be fine. Okay, Will, um, can you get all the way? You can, okay. Let's go ahead and get you here. I'm actually almost out of heal staffs with Priscilla. Well, I am out, because... Yeah, that's it. Just has that men staff. But I have a couple of staves in reserve. And I think next chapter is also a shop chapter, so I'll try to buy some equipment. And I'll be a little more... A uh, little more loose with my money, just because um, it'd be a good time to buy stuff. 
Anyway, let's go ahead, keep opening things up. I'll go ahead and open this with Kent, because he still needs to get weapon experience for both his weapons. Kent's a case where after he uh, promotes, he'll have all the weapons of the triangle, so... Should definitely try to compensate for that. But yeah, it was nice. Even Hawkeye got to help a little in this map, so... I'm just glad he didn't kill anybody, because that would have been annoying. Uh, so I think I'm going to use Kent to kind of get over here. You know what? I just realized something. I'm going to need to bring Legault all the way over here. Because I don't think there's a... Wrath has a door key, so okay, I'll be able to use that at least. So I won't have to bring Legault all the way over here. Just something I did not think about when I <laughs> started making this track, admittedly. But it's okay. I'm going to probably use Kent for a majority of this, just because, again, he's like the weapon triad person right now. I should probably heal Raven before I do anything, too, though. And I always have Oswin to back up as well. I'll try not to use him, though, just because, again, experience. And the last chest, we have a secret book. Kind of uh, underwhelming, but whatever. It's a book. Nothing wrong with reading. So I'm going to be forced to use this men's staff right here. That's fine. Nothing wrong with men's staffs. Okay. This is honestly the only thing I hate about this chapter. It's just, it takes so long to finish it out because you're just kind of walking to the very end. That's my only gripe about it. Otherwise, it is a pretty cool chapter. You get a lot of experience from it. You know, you can't really complain about that. It's just... It's just really long. <laughs> it's really long to close out when you're just ready to kind of just finish this up. That's really the only problem I have with it. If you want to finish this chapter fast, you pretty much have to take, like, your thief unit and kind of rush Kashuna. Or I guess you could even, like, target Kashuna from afar and then get the magic spells instead. I suppose that could also work. Your discretion, do what you gotta do. Is that what I like to say? Uh, but yeah, in regards to the uh, lords, because as you can see, I've not been using my lords a lot um, as of late. Uh, chapter 23 actually has two different maps you can get to, depending on the combined number of your lord's levels. And if it's uh, below 50, you'll get one version of the chapter. And if it gets above 50, or 50 or above, rather, you'll get another version. I want to get the lower than 50 version in this playthrough because that chapter is a lot harder in Hector's mode. So I'll be getting that version or the lower than 50 version in this playthrough and in Hector's playthrough I'll get the level 50 or higher version. Plus that map's just cooler in general anyway so I want to save that for Hector's playthrough. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, once again, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep on ending turn. Again, that's kind of the, pos the position I put myself in, because... I don't know, just, just because of right now, because I'm kind of compensating for, like, when our units will promote, I've kind of given them extra items that they don't really need yet. So because of that, it's kind of hard to, like, plan out where I want to take everybody. We're about done, though. We're about done. Oh yeah, let me get Raven over here too. I 
I'm kind of looking at this right now. Let's take a look at our levels. Just to... We have a lot of people at level 18. Wrath is still kind of trailing behind by a bit. But yeah, everyone else is pretty much going to be promoting in two levels or so. So that's good. And we still have some foes to fight this turn. Okay, so let's do it. Let's open this door. And there's our units. We have a knight, an archer, a mercenary, and a fighter. All of them have silver weapons. And I want to say if you go the other route, like uh, you'll have um, a monk, a shaman, a mage, and a troubadour. I think with the Troubadour, you might get a Psychic uh, Staff. Then I think you'll also get, like, uh, Nosferatu, Shine, and Elfire. I think, anyway. I could be wrong. They might give you, like, more advanced versions of the spells. I don't know 100% for certainty. It is what it is. But I just felt like going this route, honestly. This route just seemed to make more sense. So we'll start fighting these guys, and then we'll be pretty much done with this chapter, so... Didn't take too long. Let's see, how do I want to do this? You know what, let's back up a little bit. <clears throat> I am going to back up a little more. Just so I can start out with Kent here. I don't think Kent will take the... Yeah, he won't take damage from that, so we're good. We'll kind of lure them into a false sense of security here. Also, anyone else hurt... Not really. <clears throat> and see, this way we can still use Wrath as well, so... We can kind of just approach these guys more under our terms. Which I like that. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's go ahead and finish you up. <clears throat> so that's going to give us a nice silver sword. And thankfully he didn't hit with it either. So we'll get a full use silver sword. That we can just give to whoever we want. Once we have a weapon level that we can perfectly use that. Um, what can you do, Wrath? Nice double on that guy. I might want to consider... You know what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get... Wow, you can actually almost kill him well. Holy crap. You are who I not want the kill with, though. I want to give that to Wrath, because Wrath's been... Wrath's been okay. I, honestly, I was kind of expecting a little more from his level ups, but... Uh, they've been fine. They've been fine. That works. I mean, defense is not bad. Speed's good, so... I'll take that. Uh, next up... Let me deal with... Actually, I can use Raven for that. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely use Raven for that. See, this is perfect, because they get to get use full use of these weapons, too. And that is very good, Raven. That's a very good level up. You've gotten some weird ones for a bit, so... I will take that. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the convoy. As far as you're concerned... Hopefully you don't get hit. Yes! Full use silver weapons. I like to see that. And we are done! That's it for Genesis. The air, it's returned to normal. The magic seal is fled. 
What in the name of all that is decent is that? It has human form, but it's... Not human. That was a creature of hearsay. Its existence makes a ruin of nature's most basic laws. Ninian? Ah, Lord Elliewood. I... In this world, there are many mysterious things that fall beyond our realm of understanding. Come, let us leave this place. A living legend awaits us. Ah, yes. Daughter of... Hmm? Be strong. Ah! I've brought them. Welcome, children of Roland. We've come from Lycia, old man. Do you understand? What do you mean? I think I know. Thousands of years ago, man and dragon fought on this continent. Yes, mankind won, and the dragons fled this world. That's correct. Man against dragon, the war that we know as the Scouring. And you know of the eight legends of the heroes who led man to victory? Yes, we've all heard the stories of the eight legends. I was raised in Sakai, so I know of Hanan, the horseman. Sakai is where Hanan was born. Our country, Lycia, was founded by the hero Roland. That's why you called us children of Roland, right? That is correct, daughter of Hanan and Roland. Who are you? I am Athos. Many choose to simply call me Archsage. Athos? It can't be. Huh? What? Archsage Athos was one of the eight legends. If you really were him, old man, you'd have to be over a thousand years old. The world is full of mysteries. Solve one and another comes along. Before I knew it, I'd grown distant from my fellow man. Hunger, it knows no bounds. A thousand years, that's a long time. Yet thanks to such longevity, we're meeting here today. Living legend, now I see it. You're here because you want to stop Nurgle, aren't you? Yes, did you receive word from Marcus Ostia? No. I am aware of most things that occur on the continent. However, knowledge is not enough for me to prevent disaster. Nils said something similar to that before. With my special power, I can sense danger coming. But I can't do anything to stop it. Nils, one of the children of destiny. He's here with us, but something outside caught his attention. I'm sure something stopped him. Hmm? Let's talk about Nurgle. How do we stop him? Yes, what can you tell us? What wisdom can you share? Hmm, your foe is, like me, no longer altogether human. It'll be difficult to slay him through traditional means. He wields a terrible power. His endless strength stems from an ancient forbidden magic. To defeat him, you will need a suitable response. Response? While he is resting, you must find the power to oppose him. Tell us what it is. We'll do anything. It'll be harder than you can imagine. Great trials await you. As does great despair. You may regret your decision. Will you stay the course, children? Our will remains fixed. This is a road from which you cannot turn back. We've known that all along. We can overcome anything, you'll see. Together we are strong. Very well, let me tell you what you must do. Have you understood all the youth? No, you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> yes, we are to seek out the Shrine of Seals and burn, right? Take Hawkeye with you. Add his skills to your own. Thank you. And you? What will you do, Pent and Louise? Nurgle, a magic user who rivals you, Lord Athos. And the Return of the Dragons, an intriguing story. Forgive the late introductions. I am Pent, Count Regle of Etruria. This is Louise, my wife. It's nice to meet you. Count Regle? You are Count Regle? Who? Is he someone special? Yes, he hails from the most prominent noble house in Etruria. He's known as the Magic General. What has brought you to this place? Burton's successor will soon have his coming-of-age ceremony. Pent and Louise are to attend as representatives of Etruria. Pent claimed there was time to search the desert for a magic artifact said to have been lost in the sands here long ago. You arrived shortly after we did. Perhaps something was guiding you. Bowing to the dictates of fate, 
My wife and I would like to join you if we may. Well, of course. That's fine, right, Elliewood? Will you send word of your mission to your countrymen? There's no reason to, and if we did, who would believe us? Besides, it's not unusual for us to be remain absent for long periods. I doubt anyone will be surprised by our absence, right, my dear? Teehee, you're right, my love. Not unlike a certain young noble we've heard of. That's great, thanks a lot. In any event, we welcome you both with all of our hearts. Thank you. There's not much time. I'll send you to Lycia. Hawkeye, gather everyone here in the plaza. You are slim, correct? Fate blows a strange wind in your direction. Much rides on your shoulders and your near abilities. I want you to take this. It enhances natural abilities, skills which we were once was born. Give this to whomever you feel will benefit the most. Do not waste its powers holding on to it. Use it. So we get the Aphas Drops. Aphas Drops is an item that will basically, I want to say, improve the growth rates of whoever you give this to. So if there's a unit you really like and a unit you want to make more powerful, maybe even a unit that's kind of fallen behind a little bit, definitely consider giving them Aphas Drops because it will improve their growth rates. I'm not sure by how much, but it is definitely useful, so definitely keep that in mind. Everyone is here. Thank you. Elliewood, your territory is the closest to burn, is it not? Yes, the border lies in the mountains. Very good. Now please envision a nice wide place in Foray. Next, think of the name of a person you might meet there. As you say. Now, children of Roland, it is time to say farewell. You must reach the Shrine of Seals. There your destiny's doors will open wide before you. My beloved, I cannot believe you are gone. Every time I close my eyes, I see you at my side. Your memory haunts me, and I am filled with sorrow. Elbert, if by some chance you can hear my prayer, please look after our son. Mother. What? Elliewood, where, where are you? Mother, I'm home. I've returned. Ah, uh, Elliewood, is it really you? Oh, how did you... You startled me so. Forgive me, Mother. The Archsage sent us. You look so tired. Have you lost weight? Oh, come closer and let me see your face. Mother, about Father. I heard his last moments were glorious. Though he's gone, he will ever be my life's joy. I know. Come, let us make everyone comfortable. You all look in need of rest. I'm sorry, Mother. We must hurry onward. I know that, but for one night, here in the castle. Elliewood, just for tonight. Mother. One night's not going to hurt us. Who knows when we'll be back this way. Yes, let's do it. I'm so exhausted. Hector Lynn, thank you. Hello, Slim. So you're still awake. Slim, do you know Burn well? Nor do I. Nothing more than I've heard of the court. I'm sure that, with all your travels, you know more than I. By the way, Slim, where were you born? Before we, you met Lindis and Sakai, where were you? If it's difficult to speak about, you needn't worry. It's just that we've been together for so long, and I really know almost nothing about you. If you don't mind, won't you tell me about yourself? I would like to learn more about you and your life. Well, unfortunately, Elliewood, going to have to end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time when we start Chapter 23. And uh, I foresee a lot of promotions in our future, so uh, get ready for that, because this chapter is normally uh, pretty big. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.